The EU has changed. We reveal the lights behind us and there is basically only one path. The words of Danish politician and EU commissioner Margrethe A. Vestager at a conference in May neatly capture mood among Brussels elites. With the EU calling for shedding bureaucratic torpor, defending Ukraine, embracing enlargement and Ursula von der Leyen's words that EU's geopolitical power was amazed at. Their ability come close to fulfilling his desire become our response to invasion was first hour. Not to same extent now. But it's certainly Europe's top priority we will support Ukraine until war is won and Ukraine rebuilt. Becomes a member of European Union, Vestager continued. I think this is very important commitment and it will be better union if it is brought in. More. Dynamic union and more united union. Indeed. Immediate aftermath of Russian invasion. EU foreign and security chief Josep Borrell argued that EU was growing, making more progress in a week than previous decade towards its goal of becoming a global security player. The example of the courageous Ukrainian resistance has given the EU a new sense of purpose. From left European Council President Charles Mitchell. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, EU Foreign Policy Chief Josep Borrell and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen at an EU summit in Brussels in June. Geert van den Wijn Geert AP, Russia's war has awakened a slumbering giant, he claimed. Measures that would have been unthinkable a few were implemented with unprecedented speed. Such as banning leading Russian banks from SWIFT International Financial Messaging System and freezing the assets of Russian Central Bank. The price of failure was also dauntingly high. Take Jonathan Sevioff, Secretary General of the Estonian Foreign Ministry and one of the key influences on Estonian Prime. Minister Kaya Kallas. Everything is at stake in this war. Every fundamental principle of European security has been attacked, he said. They will either be strengthened as a result of this war, or they will be fundamentally weakened. The concepts territorial integrity, sovereignty, inadmissibility of aggression, illegality war crimes are currently being tested. Additionally, our own identity as Europeans is being tested. We are being tested and will be seen on world stage today through the lens of how we behave in context of this conflict. Western credibility is at stake. It depends not only what say, not only on what we do, but primarily the results achieve. We can also do the right things and say the right things. If we fail, we fail not to be outdone. EU activated the Temporary Protection Directive for first time in history, granting residents rights to more than 5.3 million Ukrainians, with European Commission in the driver's seat. It imposed 10 rounds of economic sanctions against a country for first time. All agreed unanimously. The implementation of national sanctions has now become the E.